Hey everyone, we'll hear from uh, Flea Market Finance for March 15, 2016. A couple days late on this uh, haul video, we got a little busy and uh, couldn't have, uh, didn't find time to uh, make a video the past couple days. But uh, it's kind of a small one today, but uh, I'll show you what I got. Uh, rained on Sunday, which uh, kind of cut down on uh, my finds, but uh, spring is definitely here. Uh, it's looking better, looking forward to, to the coming year. Uh, let me show you what I got. I love vintage clothing. This is a uh, uh, probably from the 50s or 60s uh, cowboy setup. There's a pair of uh, cowboy pants uh, and a hat. For some reason, uh, they priced them separately. Had 10 on the pants, four on the hat. Got them both for 12. Uh, you can see they go together. The fabric matches. But uh, kind of cool looking. Um, but uh, not a whole lot of this stuff survived. Not worth a ton of money, but uh, neat item. Cocktail shaker. Uh, that was uh, three bucks. Uh, cocktail shakers always do well. People love uh, people with bars love to set them up in there. Uh, some wine uh, bottle stoppers. The uh, uh, was it five of them there? <clears throat> fifteen bucks. Guy was asking twenty. Got the five of them for fifteen. Uh, the pewter, different ones, kind of heavy. So uh, only three bucks a piece. Uh, probably put like fifteen or twenty a piece on them. A uh, piece of. Juicy Couture uh, Jewelry paid 10 for this. I think it's original. There's a Nordstrom price sticker on the bottom. Uh, not sure what that'll bring. Uh, kind of neat looking. Love the uh, World War II Canteen. Uh, four bucks. Has a date on it inside of 1941. So this very well could have been carried throughout uh, the uh, entire time that uh, the U.S. was uh, in World War II, uh, maybe even Korea, who knows? Uh, makes you wonder, though. Uh, L. Brady had his name stretched out, and the guy Wolf put his name on there. So, makes you wonder what happened to L. Brady. <laughs> uh, but that'll sell. That's an easy, uh, probably thirty. 35. Uh, love this piece. Kind of uh, interesting. Picture frame. Not exactly sure if the glass goes with it. It does fit in the holders. Um, kind of a vintage piece. It's uh, definitely got some age. One of the ways you can tell is the screw is uh, not a Phillips head. Um, you got a, uh, maybe a uh, hula girl, not quite sure, but uh, it'll definitely sell. Uh, that was 10. A little, uh, those birds you hear in the back are a couple of uh, hawks, I don't know, or eagles, I'm not sure, but uh, they're creating a lot of noise this morning. A uh, nice heavy brass uh, candlestick holder, nice quality, you can tell it's old, the way it's constructed. Uh, got that for uh, $3, uh, got some good weight to it. Too bad it didn't have a pair, but uh, uh, it'll sell. Uh, candlestick holders are a bit of a hard sell, uh, not a whole lot of people use them anymore. That's a nice decorative piece. I can't remember the name of this. It, I think it's named after a stripper. Uh, it's like a set of four or six uh, different mugs and different poses. Uh, it was two bucks. It's just uh, made in Japan, but people collect these things. I gotta should be easy to find out the name. Uh, the pen is neat, but the got the, got it for two bucks. But the reason I really like it is the box. Uh, Vatican Pavilion, 
uh, New York World's Fair, 1964-1965. Uh, so that was pretty neat. I bet a rosary originally came in that box. A pair of salt and pepper shakers. These are Nippon. Got those $2 for the pair. Favorite piece is the can. It's just a plain old can, but with the paper label. Love the look of it. Um, best of all, it was free. I bought most of the stuff from the same guy and uh, got to the can. He's like, ah, you can have it. Guess he thought it wasn't worth too much. But uh, love the look. Uh, how many of these things survived over the years uh, with the original label? Uh, pretty cool. Tempted to keep that. Uh, old magazine, got it for two bucks. Seen better condition, but it's got Marilyn Monroe. Uh, the real reason for Marilyn Monroe's divorce, kind of a, you know, a, uh, I guess it's just an old uh, gossip magazine. Model of a Revolutionary War cannon, still in the original uh, box. Five bucks. Models always do well, especially ones that's uh, still in the original wrap. Picked up another one of these uh, pencils from uh, the uh, 1957 uh, Baltimore Colts. Um, had one of these a while ago. Still haven't sold it, but uh, maybe I'll put it with it. Uh, the ceiling light. Had one of these a while ago. Uh, almost exactly like this. Sold it. I forget what I got. I think I got around 75 for it. But... Uh, Cool light. Uh, paid uh, 15 for that. Uh, shoes, don't normally buy shoes, but this was, these were made in Italy and they were only uh, $4. Nice soft leather, well made, took a chance on them. Never heard of the name, but I'm not a shoe guy. Saying soon Tony something. Uh, the old portable writing desk here. Uh, definitely seen better days. It was only four bucks. Pretty cool. Got a spot up here for your pen. Get a little inkwell. Got the calendar here from 1912. Um kind of reminds me of the mark that the Pennsylvania Railroad uses uh, but a lot of places in Pennsylvania use that uh, use that mark uh, but being from 1912 it's 104 years old four bucks not worth a ton of money but uh, interesting piece a couple of uh, boxes of Dansk uh, candles uh, two bucks sold Dansk in the, in the past and uh, Always good quality. Uh, chest set. Kind of different. It stores the pieces there. And flip it out there. Uh, Ten. Got it for eight. Uh, lots of people collect uh, chest sets. It's kind of different. A uh, port. This is like a commercial um, jewelry carrier. For kind of unusual got it for three bucks uh, we'll see how that does uh, set of vintage reproduction theater posters um, never framed or mounted it's uh, 12 of them in there got them for $15 and uh, we already already put these on eBay uh, we put them on for 15 a piece so sell one to get all my money back uh, it's one of these things that's going to take a while to sell but they don't take up a lot of room they're easy to ship uh, I like selling prints crocheted afghan uh, I've sold a few of these over the past year uh, all between 50 and 75 dollars depending on condition design size but uh, you can get these relatively cheap still. Uh, lots of people love uh, the old Afghans. Uh, lots of people grew up with having one of these. 
you know, on the back of the sofa. You pull them down, they do a nice job. Uh, keep you warm. Uh, so this was uh, five bucks. We'll put it on there for like 50. Get some good pictures of it. Uh, something for Amazon. I got uh, 10 of these knee braces uh, for five bucks a piece. And I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these uh, for six bucks a piece. Uh, the hinged knee brace, a couple different sizes. Uh, look at them up. These should bring 20 on Amazon. These, probably around 40, uh, 40 a piece. So, uh, looking at a, a pretty nice profit. I uh, hope Amazon will let me sell these in the uh, health and beauty uh, section. I don't know uh, if they consider these part of health and beauty. Um, I know you have to uh, apply for that uh, to sell in there, but uh, we'll see what comes up. Uh, so there you go. Uh, take a look at my store, Terminal 99, which is where most of the stuff will be appearing over next week. Uh, it's really looking good outside. It's warming up. Uh, hopefully next week, following week, so I have a lot more to show you. So until next time, this Will Yard Sales Fivelist. We'll talk again soon.